words from Psalm 37. The wicked track the faithful, hoping to condemn them. But God never abandons the just, nor permits a verdict against them. Wait in hope and keep God's way. The Lord will give you power. You will have your land and watch the wicked fall. As you enter into prayer today, take a moment to be still. Come into God's presence with a deep felt desire to meet with God now. Know that God is the God who sees you and that God is looking at you now with great love. Pause for a moment and be still. Blessed and holy God, ever merciful and forgiving, may we turn from what is evil and do what is good in your sight. For you have saved us by the cross of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. This famous passage was added very early onto John's Gospel. A great instinct, probably, by an early scribe, as it has become such a powerful reflection on the mercy of God. As you reflect on this scene, where are you standing? With Jesus? With the woman? With the angry crowd? How do we balance the demands of justice and mercy? And how do we hear for ourselves the words of Jesus? Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone. John chapter 8, verses 1 to 11. Early in the morning, Jesus came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery. And making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again, he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin again. Spend some time reflecting on the reading, mulling it over. Ask God what God wants you to hear today. Offer your personal prayers and thanksgivings and offer the day to God in a spirit of gratitude and thanksgiving. Let us pray with confidence 
as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>